worm castings are very good for your soil and the worms also help to uh, get the airflow through your soil. Okay, I want to show y'all something. I have little places in my high tunnel where I feed the worms. And that's what keeps my soil and hair amended so well. But I have what, uh, just little containers. And what I do, and this is a small version, I do have a bigger version, is I take a pot, just a plastic pot, and I bury it so far down. You can bury it all the way to the top if you want to. It's just a, a plastic container that a plant come in. And I cut, if it's got big enough holes, you don't have to cut the bottom out. Um, and then I just bury it down in there. And then I take, and this is where I'll put my scraps. I save scraps for my worms and I save scraps for the chickens. And I'll just put some scraps down in here. Then I'll put a little bit of dirt on top of scraps. And then I take another plastic container and I just put it on top. And this container's got some dirt in it. And that's mainly just to keep uh, warmets out of there. But then your worms come up and they'll eat them scraps. Now I also put shredded paper and stuff like that in there. So they work on that. So I've got these here and there in my raised beds. I've got one over here underneath, I don't know if you can see it or not, underneath the uh, zucchini plant. Let's see, I've got another one, yeah, right here, and I just, this one don't have the top to it, I must have took it off for some reason, but I do, I just put scraps down in there, I think this must be my top. And uh, I'll use, just weight it down, the top one. But I always put just a little bit of dirt on top of my scraps when I put them in there. Before I put the other one on top. 